Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very, very interesting question from radical equations. Our equation is fifth root of x cube plus 3 cube minus fifth root of x cube minus 6 cube equal to 3. And we are going to calculate all real solutions. So let's get started by taking this negative sign into this radical. So we will get fifth root of x cube plus 3 cube. 3 cube is 27 plus fifth root of 6 cube minus x cube. 6 cube is 216 minus x cube equal to 3. Now we will use substitutions. Let us say radicand x cube plus 27 a power 5 and radicand 216 minus x cube b power 5. So the very first equation which we can write fifth root of a power 5 plus fifth root of b power 5 equal to 3. So fifth root power 5 will be over. We will get our first equation a plus b equal to 3. Now I will add a power 5 with b power 5. So let me write a power 5 plus b power 5. This will be equal to x cube plus 27 plus 216 minus x cube. So plus and minus x cube will be over. We will get 27 plus 216. This will be 243. So I can write a power 5 plus b power 5 is 243. And 243 is 3 power 5 also. So first equation was a plus b equal to 3. So let us eliminate 3 with a plus b. So I will write a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to a plus b whole power 5. a plus b whole power 5 equal to a power 5 plus b power 5. Now I will use binomial expansion and Pascal triangle. So let me draw here 1 1 1 1 2 1 for power 2 1 3 3 1 we will get expansion coefficients for power 3 for power 4 1 4 6 4 1 will be our expansion coefficients. And for required power 5, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. These coefficients we will use while expanding a plus b whole power 5. So let us write for these two expansion coefficients, I will write a power 5 plus b power 5 in LHS. Plus for coefficient 5, I will write 5 times a power 4b plus ab power 4. So let me take ab common out. So in the bracket we will get a cube plus b cube. Then I will take the expansion coefficient 10. So 10a square b square in the bracket we will get a plus b. RHS is a power 5 plus b power 5. Now we will cancel a power 5 plus b power 5 from both the sides. Equation is divisible by 5. So let us divide also. So I will write a b a cube plus b cube. We can use algebraic formula a plus b times a square plus b square minus a b. And 10 divided by 5 is 2 a square b square a plus b equal to 0. Now we have something common a b times a plus b is common. So a b times a plus b is common from both the terms we will get a square plus b square minus a b and here we will get 2 times a b equal to 0 or I can write a b 
times a plus b times a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0. Let me write this equation here. ab times a plus b times a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0. But a plus b was as per equation 1, this was 3. So, this is 3. I can write 3ab a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0 or we can write a times b a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0. So, from here we can conclude either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 or a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0. Let us solve our third equation first. So, I will write a square plus b square plus ab equal to 0. And first two equation was a equal to 0 and b equal to 0. Now, I will multiply both sides by 4. So, I will write 4a square plus 4b square plus 4ab equal to 0 times 4, 0. Now, I can write 4a square as it is. Then I can split 4b square as b square plus 3b square. Overall, it is 4b square. Then we have 4ab term. Now, from these three terms, I can write this is 2a plus b whole square. 2a whole square is 4a square, b whole square is b square, 2 times 2a times b is 4ab plus 3b square equal to 0. Now, we can see sum of 2 squares equal to 0. So, we can conclude it is not possible for real numbers. The only case which is left, individual brackets, these two brackets individually will be 0. So, I will write 2a plus b equal to 0 or b equal to 0. Once b is 0, I will put here, so a will come out 0. So, our equations are a equal to 0 and b equal to 0. Let me write here a equal to 0, b equal to 0. So, I can take power 5 both sides. I will write a power 5 will be 0 power 5 is 0, b power 5 will be 0 power 5 0. Now, a power 5 for our substitution, this was a power 5. So, I will write here x cube plus 3 cube equal to 0. So, I can write x plus 3 using algebraic formula x square minus 3x plus 9 equal to 0. So, from here I can write either x plus 3 will be 0 or x square minus 3x plus 9 equal to 0. So, from first equation, I will get x equal to negative 3. From this quadratic equation, I will check only discriminant. b square is 9 minus 3 square minus 4ac will give us 36. So, 9 minus 36, discriminant is negative. We will get complex solutions. So, this quadratic will be rejected. Only x equal to negative 3 will be our real solution. Now, the turn of this equation. So, b power 5 was 216 minus x cube equal to 0. Or I can write x cube minus 6 cube equal to 0 as our RH is 0. Again, we can apply a cube minus b cube formula. So, a minus b 
a square plus b square plus ab so plus 6x plus 36 equal to 0 so from here we can write either x minus 6 equal to 0 or x square plus 6x plus 36 equal to 0 so from first equation i can get x equal to 6 again we will check discriminant value here for quadratic equation so b square minus 4ac so 6 square is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 36 so this is coming out negative we will write easily complex solutions will be there so this quadratic will be rejected so there are two solutions let me write here x equal to negative 3 and x equal to 6 now we are going to cross check our solution let me write check LHS x equal to negative 3 equation is here so I will write fifth root of negative 3 cube is minus 3 whole cube plus 3 cube so this will come out 0 minus fifth root of negative 3 whole cube so I will write minus of 3 whole cube then minus 6 cube now this radical will be 0 I will write here minus common out first so I will write fifth root of 3 cube plus 6 cube 3 cube is 27 6 cube is 216 once we will add both we will get fifth root of 243 and we know that 243 is 3 power 5 so fifth root power 5 will be over we will get 3 which is our RHS hence our first solution is true negative 3 now we will check 6 I will write LHS fifth root of 6 cube plus 3 cube then minus sign fifth root of 6 cube minus 6 cube this time this radical will be 0 again I will write fifth root of 6 cube is 216 3 cube is 27 once we will add these two numbers we will get 243 which is 3 power 5 fifth root power 5 will be over we will get 3 which is our RHS hence 6 is also verified solution i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye